Okay, we're on the fuselage now. So the first thing to do is to glue together parts 113. And then glue together parts 115. And then 115 fits like that. And 114 fits there. And 117 uh, will fit there. But you just need to trim the back edge here to, to match this uh, rebate and it should be the same length as this piece here. So that one needs cutting the length. So I'll just go on and uh, glue those together and then we'll move on to the next section. Okay here's a continuation of the build of the fuselage. So the front section is now built up with the doublers and the next job is to pin this to the plan and attach the longer arms so it goes something like that cut it to length obviously and the bottom one something like this and just uh, shape the front there and piece 127 uh, goes at the back just here so that's going to need uh, trimming to size to fit in there and then the uprights that, that go here are the same material as the longer ones that's uh, 6 by 5 mil and the diagonal sections are made from the 5 by 5 mil square section so I'll go on and do that and show you how it looks when I finished. So here's the first side of the fuselage all done. So that was just pinned to the drawing and glued together. And now to do the second side, just flip this over. Bring the plastic over the top and put the second fuselage side on top and then cut and fit all the pieces at the back here. So I'll come back when that's done. Okay, so here's the fuselage. So I've got a jig to put this in. So this former fairly straightforward fit. And then this one here, this one is split in two down the middle. And what I did was I glued it to the two sides first. And then I put it in the jig and pulled the tail together and then glued that centre seam once the thing was in alignment. I think that was the idea of having that split. Okay, so that's coming on. Now before fitting the front former, um, you need to think about the battery placement. And in similar with some other people on the internet, I'm, I've built a mounting arrangement that brings the battery back through this front former. So here's the motor mounted 
painted on that block and then we have a box and that box fits on there like this and then we have a, a battery tray and the battery tray will go like this okay so that'll be glued onto the bottom of that one and the motor goes on there and then I'm using the uh, Turnigy four cell batteries so that will be placed through there through the hole in that bulkhead this is facing the front and I'll be able to get it right up to the front of the nose and then I'll just have a strap around here securing it in place and then on the back side of this mount I'll have an arrangement for securing the ESC so all of this stuff is going to be up into the nose cone so hopefully that'll help get the CG right